we're going to talk a little bit about the art of the garmanger, that's working with vegetables, working with fruits, doing things that will really enhance the look of the food because we eat with our eyes. If it looks good, it's going to taste good. Tonight, Mike is making macaroni and cheese, and we're also going to have a little bit of cheese to go along with it, so I'm going to take this radish, turn it into something that goes as a nice little quick decoration with cheese. So I've got a nice sharp little paring knife with a nice little tip on it, and we're going to take this radish, and I'm going to first trim when you do this, you want to choose a, a radish that has a nice little pin to it, a nice little end on this side, and what we're going to do is trim it. I'm going to take a slice off of the bottom. I'm going to take two thin little slices. You want to have a good sharp knife. You want to work with it confidently. So hold it still. And then what I'll do is take these two little pieces. I'm going to put a little wedge right here, one here, and one here. We'll remove that wedge because we don't need it. And that's one of those things that a chef, one who likes radishes, will eat that piece. cut these a little piece here and there. I'll take these two little things and I'm going to put one here and I'll slide one in next to it over here. Let me trim it just a touch to make it fit. And when we serve a piece of cheese, now what we'll have is a nice little mouse to sit on that cheese. So we're about to do the big dinner, that's the big thing that we've been aiming for this entire time that we've been together. The entire staff of Old Neighborhood Cooking, Tom and Mike, Dave, are all working on their different projects. We've got baked potatoes going, we've got the steaks getting marinated and ready to put on the grill, big salad going with a Marcus Red Fox dressing, and now I'm going to start making some decorative vegetables and get ready for uh, the appetizer tray, which is going to be a relish tray. It's a very typical thing that's done in the old steakhouses, and we're going to do it a little bit differently. I'm going to show you how to do some decorations with your vegetables. Again, this is talking about the art of the garmanger. This is working on the vegetables because we eat with our eyes. We'll make it look good as well as taste good. All right, so crudite means that you're looking for vegetables that are just big enough for your mouth. You don't want some big chunky piece of vegetable that you can't even fit in between your teeth. So we're going to cut these small bits of vegetable. We're doing carrot, we're going to do celery, and we're going to do some radishes and some green onions. And then beside the carrot, what we want to do is some decorative vegetables. So what we'd like to do to decorate the plates, especially around the steaks, is looking for something with a little bit of color. We'll be using white plates, so a good orange carrot will give us a nice contrast in color, but we can't just put a chunk of carrot down on the plate. What we're going to do is make flowers out of carrots. So we're going to take a nice big thick piece of carrot and a good sharp knife with a real nice little point on it and measure about to the center so you don't go too far and we're going to cut trenches. And we just Cut a little trench along and you want to make sure that you cut at least five otherwise it doesn't look right. So once you have your channels cut along the edges of the carrot, you're going to lay it down and with a good sharp knife just take thin little slices. And as you take the slices, you'll end up with individual little tiny flowers to put around your plate. It's good for decorating salads. Uh, I used to do big tubs of coleslaw and be able to decorate the top of it. And you end up with this. Nice flowers that look kind of cool. You know, it's a neat little thing that you could do and you can get plenty of flowers out of one carrot. Okay, so now I've trimmed the edges off the top and the bottom. 
you just need to line your radishes up. We've got a cup here with water so that when we put them in, everything will open up perfectly for us. The tool that I have is a very special tool. It's a uh, apple core, but it's a special apple core. It doesn't have the eight or even the 10 uh, pieces. This is a 14 piece. You can find these in specialty shops. You can find them at places like Bed Bath & Beyond at times. And all you need to do is take your radish, center it, and press down. Now what that'll do is open up when you keep it in water and that way you'll have decorative radishes and you can do dozens of them in about two minutes. So, so let me take a couple of these and show you what we're going to do. First of all I'm going to take a slice and I never slice it straight. I always slice it on a bit of a bias an angle so that it looks a little bit different. I'm going to hold the knife like a pencil. Again, measure to the center because you don't want it to go all the way through. Imagine a line going around the onion and you're going to hold it and just slice in. Now where you're holding it is going to keep it from slicing all the way through and down. Just follow along the lines. There's a natural ridge line to onions and just keep slicing down. The more slices you make, the better it looks all the way down and you could put one of these on a plate with a steak and you have a nice flour you could put one of these on a vegetable tray a crudite tray it's an edible decoration it's all natural and again what we'll do is pop it into cold water and after it sits in cold water it will open up and you will get your flour okay on the other side, what we're going to do is take the back side of that onion, the green part, Now we've already got it here, it's held together nicely, and just take slices, deep slices, just run the knife through, and you don't want to leave too big of a piece, you want to just do little bits of green, little bit of white, you want to make sure that you're slicing the entire thing because a good bouquet of flowers always has some contrast greenery in it. And that's what we're going to do with this. So we slice, we get these dams and dibs done. We'll pop this in water and that will give us greenery to go with our flowers. Okay, so we have our onion flowers. We've got our carrot sticks, our celery sticks. We have all of our radishes. We've got carrot flowers. We have in the refrigerator some pickles, some olives, some other things that are thrown on to that traditional steakhouse appetizer tray. The last thing we're going to do is uh, some cucumber slices, but the slices again, I don't want it to be just plain. We're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to take a slice with peeler and a slice and a slice so that we get the contrasting green and white. Next, we'll use a fork and in those spots where the white is, we'll dig the fork in and drag it down just slightly. Dig it in, drag it down, dig it in, drag it down. And again, when you serve these things at home, you're going to end up serving something that's just a little bit different than anybody else. You're watching KPBP, your streaming video channel in the Midwest.